on to 612. But before we begin, let's talk about some things going on in the video game industry. So, the Capcom Showcase uh, got announced, and it just showcased some things we did know about, other things we didn't. Um, let's see. We had, oh, Kitsune Gami, Path of the Goddess. It's not really clear what's going on there, though, so I can't really talk about it all that much. It looks cool, but, like, without getting any information on, like, what the gameplay actually is, I can't really care, so, meh. Eh? I don't really don't know what to say to it. Um, next, we had Path of the Goddess. Oh, not Path of the Goddess, sorry. Um, Pragmata, which is a sci-fi game that was announced a while ago, but not only does it not have a, a, a trailer of any kind, or at least a gameplay trailer, it's also been delayed yet again, so again, who cares? Um, Ghost Trick, the remaster of Ghost Trick, is got a demo. Mm. And the full game launches on the 30th. If you liked Ace Attorney, you should go play Ghost Trick, by the way. So, yeah. We have a new Ace Attorney collection with four games 4 to 6 in the mainline series all in one place. Mostly the ones focusing on Apollo Justice. So, that's cool. Uh, oh, and the thing I cared about the most from it, Dragon's Dogma 2. Dude, I'm looking forward to Dragon's Dogma 2. Uh, that game is probably, how do I describe it? It's probably one of the coolest Monster Hunter games that is just bad. Like, there's no really way to talk about it. It wasn't a finished developed game, I but the concepts that were in it were really fucking neat. So I'm looking forward to the sequel. Also, I played with an unarmed uh, fighting mod and I, God, please let me punch the monster. I was literally just talking to my friend about it, about how stupid it is. Uh, like, I was like, please let me just punch and kick the monster. And he was like, the more I think about it, the sillier unarmed combat is. And it's like, no, you're right. Unarmed combat is the stupidest fucking way to fight a monster. In a world where you have swords and spears and bows and magic, it is the stupidest way to fight a monster. And that's why I love it. Because it says to you, I don't need magic. I don't need weaponry. I have my left and my right. And I'm going to, and I'm so much better than you. All I need are my bare fucking hands. Square the fuck up. I think that concept's just cool. In other news, let's talk about the entertainment industry. Reddit. Reddit has decided to, you know, shoot itself in the fucking foot by, uh, by... So recently, Reddit decided to try to monetize itself stupidly with its API changes, and it's now making pl uh, the subreddits have to pay for APIs and thus third-party applications on whatever the reddits are. And because of that, several thousand subreddits have all done a blackout to protest it, including some of the ones I really enjoy. But, hey, if this will get them to step down and back out, I'm all for it. Because, yeah. Here's hoping they, they take a step back, but I, I very much doubt it. Eh, here's hoping. Either way, let's keep going with this. Yusuke is deciding to stay at our house for a while because, you know, he can't focus on his art. What about how it's a while, but how water is quite relaxing. Yeah, not scolding hot though. Wow. You need to worry about breaks for me tomorrow. I'll be fine with some grilled fish and miso soup. Wait, can I maybe do some lock picking making? Damn it. Ah. Oh well. Wow. Oh, I'm going into the dream world. I'm going to. I'm going to prison. Rip me. I kind of wish your eyes would open right at the crescendo of that. Eyes open, then. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates. Have you noticed? 
They seem to have influenced you. I kind of want to see. So, uh, for anyone who remembers, back in like 2012, the initial uh, Persona 5 trailer was "You are a slave, want emancipation." Yeah, that was the original Persona 5 uh, teaser all the way back in 2014. Yeah, just Google what I said. You are a slave, one emancipation. So I would kind of like to see, I'm not sure, probably, obviously, a lot of the development that went on there eventually went into this game, but it would kind of see, kind of want to see, like, more of that, I guess, or it'd be kind of see, it'd be kind of interesting to see where their initial plan for the story would go. Because I don't think slave and prisoner are personally synonymous. I feel like they have different, different connotations, but, eh, whatever, anyway. These picaresque dissidents of society, deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. Thanks, Igor. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. You feel the bond with Igor is growing deeper. That five already? Yep. Thank you. All right. It's almost time. You're Sai-san's younger sister, correct? May I talk to you for a moment? Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi-kun? You're quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. Huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime. As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rivals. You have such high self-esteem. So the Phantom Thieves are evil, and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Oh, besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. <laughs> Don't you think the same about yourself, too? surprising so you're just the good girl type of pushover oh looks like it's starting soon see you later give Sai-san my regards why does everyone get on my case It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise that it'd be comfortable here, though. I just want to point out that even though Shojiro has once again, like, he comes off as this asshole. He comes off like a jerk, but then we have a case of Yusuke. We, we're, you already see it. He clearly is a very kind-hearted person. Like, just this pure-hearted, kind-hearted person, right? And it's interesting to think about, as we can see here, he's like, he was willing to house Yusuke. Like, he probably wouldn't have minded housing him as long as he's housing you. And I still stand by the theory 
it's a completely a theory. It's not proven at all in this game that what happened was that your parents came into this place trying to discuss what to do with you because of what happened, only for Sodro to hear it and be like, look, just, I don't know, buy me, buy my super meal and I'll let the kids stay. I'm willing to put down money. That's probably what happened. Sodro's the goddamn goat. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. That's all? You know how it is. Sympathy makes you do stupid things sometimes. Your art instructor, um, the former art instructor, he must have felt something for you too. Besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again. Finally awake. Where's Yusuke? He wasn't around when I woke up. He must be downstairs. Well, Leo, you know it's past noon. The kid ended up going back to his dorms. He left his painting before he took off, supposedly to thank us for taking care of him. How nice of him. It's rare to see a kid acting so grateful these days. This painting is amazing. Not only is the mother stunning, but the expression of her face. The regulars will probably freak out when they see it in here. Still, I feel a bit like I've seen it somewhere. It's a bit different from how I remember it, though. Hey. Well, if you're up for the day, go on and get dressed. I opened shop hours ago, so go take the cat out somewhere. You got it. Thank you for letting me stay, Kai. Apologies for leaving so quietly, but the arrest seemed peaceful. After a great deal of inner struggle, I decided to return to the dormitories. Furthermore, I trust the Siori to your protector, Sojuro. The painting should no longer exist reality, but it is truly what my mother painted. I'm silly satisfied that we were able to obtain it. And it was all because of you guys. I cannot thank you enough. P.S. I still believe porridge is the best way to end a hot pot. <laughs> Aww. God, he's so goddamn good. Hey, hey. Guess Yosuke went home, huh? Oh well, guess that's for the best. Yo, I checked the fan site. There's some kind of thread about looking for info about burglars using a fan thief's name. That's pretty lame to me. Also that too, they're targeting restaurants, right? I actually found a really interesting post on there. Whoever well, has suddenly started acting violent towards everyone. I might end up getting killed at this rate. I wonder if he's because he got caught up with all those weird people in Shibuya. Um, so before the Persona 5 anime, there was a Persona 5 one shot, and I believe this plot line right here was what it was based off of. Back when, um, Back when his canon name was Akira Karusu, right? Did I did I do that right? It's like it was Akira Karusu, right? Akira Karusu. Yeah, his canon name now is Ren Amimiya. But in oh the Persona Five manga as well. Yeah, in the Persona Five manga and in the one shot, he was Akira. Uh, Karusu.
Oh, interesting. Uh, apparently the the manga's still going on from 2017 all the way to 2022. Yeah, and it's still being published. Yes, in the manga, the protagonist's name is Akira Kurusu, a name that has so far not been portrayed anywhere else. I like this game part. Akira does not appear to possess the power of the wild card. It has not been mentioned by the name, nor has any persona other than Arsene been summoned by him in the manga thus far. We are occasionally shown Akira's thoughts about a given situation. Much like Persona 5 animation, the date of, the, of any event is never given. While Maruki and Yashizawa are both in the manga, they are not introduced at the same time as they would be in the game. Due to Royal, Persona 5 Royal not being released at the time of the manga. Huh. That's neat. I might give that a read sometime then. Anyway. Maybe too soon to assume that. The post said he started spending a bunch of money lately too. Isn't that kind of suspicious? I wonder how many burglars groups are there are, are, even are in Shibuya. Damn, things are really starting to get serious. Let's look into it. I thought you'd say that. Although, how exactly would we go out investigating? We'll go into Shibuya in the middle of the night and catch them all red-handed. No way, the police would totally nab us if we were out that late. Plus, it would be bad if the chief knew we were out in the middle of the night. Hmm, they target restaurants. Ah, what if we drew them to LeBlanc? What? There's no way. Who could ever shop like this? Wouldn't that cause a lot of trouble for the boss? LeBlanc targeted. Seems like a viable play to me. That's a horrible idea. <laughs> I live here. Yep. I mean, you get kicked out of LeBlanc if you fail. Oh, I suppose that it, I left Sayori there as well. I've forgotten. How'd you forget something that important? Either way, I don't really want more thieves to be posing as us in the future. I wish there was some way we can make an example of those ones. At the moment, our lack of info means we will have to wait. We can continue searching for more possible information uh, wherever possible, though. Yeah. I'm gonna try looking for some stuff, too. Who wants to hang out today? Checking up on Shiho. I want to go see how Shiho's doing. Do you think you could spare some time to talk to me before I head over, though? Uh, maybe. We'll decide that later. What are my options for the day? We have Takimi. My charm isn't high enough. We can do on. Yeah, we'll do on. Do I have a leverage persona on me? I do not. Let's go fuse a leverage persona. Pretty healthy now. Without telling us. Although that's tactless. Tactless is very Yusuke. Yeah. Oh, right. Sunday morning cartoon. Or thing. Not cartoon. You know what I'm trying to say. For Not real? Oh wait, is that on today? Interesting. For real? Oh, uh, what's this pretentious asshole got to say? It's p pitiful. How men lauded by society is a great artist has fallen from grace. This is just going to show us how many fail to truly understand what is art. Did you see past modern army's lies? Did you see past them? Naturally, I knew it all along. I really took a pity on him for a while. He was an old man after all. That said, there's no death to modernize work. It's a cheap and baseless, just like instant coffee. Don't fret if these concepts are difficult to understand. Art is deep and complex, like this coffee. I'll be going home then. What a pretentious douchebag. By the way, didn't that kid go to a different school? Where'd you get to know him? From another friend. Hmm. Huh. I guess you never know how you're going to end up meeting people in this crazy world. Foreshadowing. Anyway. Yeah. We need to go fuse us a lovers. So to the velvet room. Hey, inmates. Time for some. If you wish to perform an exit, let us begin the search. Can I make a lovers from here of any kind? I cannot. All right. What's my highest lovers persona then? You have registration. Such rudeness. Read here. Topic only. It is. I'm gonna use still. If you withdraw this, then accept. You left. Are you finished? What? Uh, we're on thing. Done already. What? I wanna go back. It is time, inmate. What is my confidant level with on, by the way? Four going up to five. I don't know what kind of gift I should bring for Shiho. Well, I'll be winning Shibuya. I think you actually, for this part of her thing, you need at least a level three, uh, level three kindness. 
I have the big news. The cream from the famous crepe shop is half off right now. Oh, Aww. probably can't take a crepe into the hospital, huh? I really want one, though. Do you think maybe Shiho would want one, too? Give it up. Right. It might be half off, but I should try to control myself. Oh. Shiho might have rehab today, too. They probably wouldn't let her even eat. Uh. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. Shiho started her physical rehab. She pushed it up ahead of schedule. I think it's because I told her about how I want to get stronger. She said she was going to work, start working hard, too. I haven't actually seen any of her rehab sessions yet, though. Oh, hold on. What? Now? Oh, that's not good. Sorry, Sorry. something just came up. That was from my agency. One of the models didn't show up for the Mazagni shoot, shoot they're doing. They're looking to wrap up soon, so I'm going to head over now and fill in. Let's go. Pretty close, though. Want to come with me? Actually, let's just go. I'll race you there. Oh, oh, here we go. We are out of the meeting spot. Looks like they were having a pre-shoot briefing. Hi, Senpai. I'm so pumped to get to work with you today. After I saw you at your last year's show, I just... Oh, I think I'm going to cry. Uh, all right. uh semi-spoilers for this plotline. So, back in the day, I remember reading the shoujo anime. I can't even remember the name of it now, but the entire premise was this girl wanted to be an actress due to her boyfriend becoming an actor and kind of dumping her. What was it called? No, it was called Please Love Me or what was it called? Apparently one of the most popular Yaoi megas right now is also called Love Me. But remember, um, it was about these t about this girl who was like a country bumpkin. I, I believe the story was she was like a country bumpkin, but she was like in love with this guy. And when he made it big and became an actor, he kind of just like threw her aside. So out of pettiness and revenge, she's trying to become an actor herself to try to get back at him. And I remember there was this other girl who was actually trying to be an actor, actress herself because she really wanted to be an actress. Uh, and she was upset at the, the main character girl because it was like, oh, you're just doing this to be bitter and selfish? Fuck you. And eventually they slowly grow together and, she, and the girl wants to learn how to become an actress truly for the right reasons, I guess. And I remember their, like the stick was they apparently started like at the bottom rung having to clean and take all these really shitty gigs and slowly make their way up. And I remember, the thing I remember the most is that they had these pink jumpsuits. And, and they were called, like, the Love Me Squad or Please Love Me Interns or something like that. And this plot line, and this, this pretty girl, the pretty, it literally calls her a pretty lady. I feel like that has a similar vibe to that story. Even though I literally can't remember the name of it. What was it really that big deal? That fast shit was tiny. By the way, I'm Mika. And please, no honorifics. I might be older, but you have a lot more experience, on senpai Alright, uh, Mika. <laughs> it feels a little weird saying it like that. Oh, well, you don't need to use senpai with me. Any Anyways, nice to meet you. Likewise, Anchan. Oh, this is weird. Hey, could you be able to be a better model? You know, like your everyday routines and stretches? Huh? Routines? You mean like singing in the shower? Oh, is that all you do? Then what kind of stuff do you eat? I've been looking all over the place for an import oh, some organic green almonds. Plus... I'm getting super tired of eating qu quinoa. Do I need to like boil it in hard water or something? Mm -hmm. uh, almonds. Oh, I only ever eat those when they're covered in chocolate. In hard water, isn't that kind of tough to boil ice? Do you weigh yourself? Oh, of course, once a year for my health examinations at school. So you're gonna keep all a secret from me, huh? I get it. I guess it's hard trusting someone you just met. That's not at all. I just don't really think about that stuff. It has nothing to do with not trusting you. It's more like modeling is like a hobby for me. What? Hmm. Han Senpai, that's so horrible. What do you mean you don't care about modeling for these guys? You said that, Han-chan? Wait, I... 
I love this magazine. Everyone tries so hard to make sure their product is the best. Mika, Mika-chan, just calm down. Don't worry. We all know that you're giving it your all here. But you guys work so much harder than me. I'm still the one getting comforted. Oh, hold on. Oh, chan the truth is we have both you and Mika come down as substitutes for our missing model. We wanted both of you on the cover, but if you're really not interested... Hey, I didn't... Don't worry. I can do it all alone. I read the concept docs on my way here. What? You faker! Oh, you really mean, Anchan? Do you really hate me that much? Keep it simple, you two. Anyway, you good to go, Mika-chan? Sorry about all this, Anchan. You won't, we won't be needing you today. We reimburse your transportation expenses, though. You will even throw in a little extra for your trouble. Oh. But any staff left for the photo shoot? I mean, she, at least she's getting reimbursed. Uh. Really screwed up there. She's amazing, huh? <laughs> That's the proper. Trust me. Trust me. It's the proper thing to say. Yeah, but maybe it's because deep down I'm not actually that invested in modeling. She just sees straight through that. Anyway, I totally ruined the shoe. But still, wasn't Mika's fake cry pretty incredible? It had a great. Oh, maybe that's what I'm missing. I don't know though. I think I'm pretty good at fake crying myself. I know the perfect technique. Tell me more. Listen carefully. The key is you don't actually cry. I mean, that's why it's fake. By the way, I think I'd be able to use that ability to our advantage in Metaverse. I'll turn my failure today into a positive energy going forward. <laughs> I don't I don't think that's how that works, but sure. Chance to force enemies to ask for less during negotiations. Alright. It literally is just baiting them into it's just falling for a girl crying. Speaking of the metaverse, I'm gonna try super hard in my work with the fan of these two. But for now, I should go stop by and see Shiho at the hospital. Thanks, Thanks for today. No problem, fam. What do you want to do about our next big target? Well, that was sudden. Well, after what that guy said, sitting around doing nothing just pissed me off. You were talking about Akechi Kun, right? I know how you feel. Ah, uh, that high school detective. If you had to shut up, it would be changing the person's heart. You think so? Come on, you gotta be more calm about this kind of stuff. But he did mention that the piece are starting to mobilize. Either way, I, th I don't think we should leave Akechi be. This is the perfect time to meet and discuss what our strategy should be going forward. Let us gather the hideout tomorrow. Alright, what are my options for 10 nights? We have... No, no, this one. Remember, since we can only do this once a week, we have to go for it. By the way, I think we reached a pretty good stopping point. When we return, we're gonna go do the sun. That came out strange. By the way, I want everyone out there to have a good morning, evening, day, or night, wherever you're at. But for right now, I am out. Later.